How's it going guys, it's Kyler the HowToGuy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to record your Android screen for free with no watermark. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Play Store and in the search bar you're going to want to search for AZ Screen Recorder or if you're American AZ Screen Recorder and just go ahead and uh, it's this one here AZ Screen Recorder no root and just go ahead and download and install it and once it's uh, downloaded and installed we'll just go ahead and open it here. So once it's opened, you'll see a little menu here with five options. So in order, the, the options are settings, screenshot, start recording, go live, and watch live stream. So in this tutorial, we're pretty much only going to be focused on recording your screen, and maybe in another tutorial, I'll teach you how to live stream with AZ Screen Recorder. But anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, if you want to close this menu, you can just tap on the, the red camera icon there, and that closes the menu. And you can tap it on it again to open the menu. So let's take a look at settings, so just tap the settings icon there, and that's going to open the uh, settings where we will configure our video recording settings. So under control options, you have the option to enable the magic button. And what the magic button is, it basically is a an invisible button in the top right hand corner of your screen. And if you single tap on the button, it uh, will pause and resume your recording. If you double tap on it, it will stop your recording. And if you do one long tap on this invisible button, it will uh, allow you to draw on the screen, which I think is pretty handy to have, and I'd recommend having that enabled. Uh, going on, you have some stop options here, just different ways you can uh, stop your recording. Also, you can enable a time limit to stop your recording after a certain uh, amount of time has passed. If you uh, want to have that, you can. So let's move on to a video configuration, and under resolution here, you can choose the video resolution you want to record your video in. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is for 1080p recordings, 1280 by 720 is for 720p recordings, 854 by 480 is for 480p recordings, and so on. You can also choose a custom resolution if you would like. And the higher the resolution, the better the video quality. However, the higher the resolution, the larger the video size, and also if you record at a higher resolution, you might notice some lag on your phone. So if you do notice some lag, you might want to uh, bump down the resolution a little bit. Also, if your phone has a higher resolution screen, you might actually have some more options with higher resolutions. So uh, my phone records up to 1920 by 1080 and uh, that's the one I usually choose and I usually don't have much of a problem recording at it. So moving on, we have the uh, frame rate here. And if you guys don't know what frame rate is, basically it determines how smooth your video is. So the higher the frame rate, the smoother your video. Now I'd recommend keeping this at 30 FPS if you're just doing normal screen recordings, but if you're going to be recording any games, I would put this at 60 FPS. So I'm going to choose 30 FPS. Now for the bitrate, the higher the bitrate, the better video quality you're going to get. Now once again, the higher the bitrate, the larger your video size is. Also once again, if you, if you record at a high bitrate, you might notice some lag on your phone. So once again, if you do notice some lag, you might want to bump the bitrate down a bit. Personally, just for simplicity's sake, I just like to keep this at auto and let the app choose the best bitrate for my recording. Under orientation, this is just the orientation of your phone in which you're going to record at. So for example, are you going to uh, record in landscape mode or are you going to record in portrait mode? Personally, I think the best option here is auto and just let the app determine whatever uh, orientation you're holding your phone at to record in. Now under time lapse, this is something I uh, I don't really see myself using too often. It's basically the video speed, so if you just want to speed up your video while you're recording it, you have that option there. But uh, I would just keep this disabled. I don't. I have never really tried it out. But uh, the options there if you want it. Now this is kind of a tricky situation here. The audio. So if you guys don't know, uh, Google basically blocks the recording of internal audio. So no matter what screen recording app you use, you will not be able to record internal audio coming out of your phone. Uh, I believe the reason they do this is so you can't record any phone calls, but uh, that's just my opinion there. Basically, they just do not allow you to record internal audio. So the only audio you can record here is coming out of your microphone. What I would do if you want to record internal audio is just to bump the sound of your speakers up and let the microphone pick up whatever sound is coming out of your speakers. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer there, but uh, it's just something we have to deal with for now. Uh, but moving on, we have some overlay information here. So if you want to enable 
like some text on screen. So right here, it says by default AZ screen recorder. If you want to enable some text to show on screen and you can uh, tap to move it around, you can have that. Uh, also, you could enable a logo if you want. So you can uh, choose a picture to show up on screen while you're recording. Moving on, we have the show camera option. If you have this enabled, you can see here that it enables your front facing camera. So if you want to have a face cam while you're recording, you have that option there. And if you tap on it, you have a uh, settings icon and you can configure your face cam if you would like. Oh, also I forgot to mention, if you would like, you can also move this around and position it on the screen wherever you want. And I'm just going to turn that off. So under timer, this is just uh, if you want to uh, show a timer while you're recording, you have that option. So uh, countdown before start, basically uh, it's just a countdown. You hit the record button, it's going to just count down. Uh, before the recording actually starts and you can set that uh, the countdown uh, There do whatever you want and now we just have some other options here like remove ads uh, Fix screen screen. I haven't really used that before um, Here this is where you can configure the uh, the menu here and uh, You can change it to bubble or a bar there. Actually. I think bubble is a uh, way cleaner and you can also select uh, what's in the menu and uh, stuff like that. Finally, let's take a look at output directory. This is where uh, all of your recordings are going to be saved. So if you're trying to look for your recordings after you're done recording, they are saved in direct this directory here and you can choose to move that uh, if you would like. And I'm just gonna, going to uh, leave my recordings there. Also, if you swipe right, you can see all of your previous recordings. And if you swipe right, once again, you can see all of these screenshots you've taken, if you've taken any. So right now, let's go ahead and start recording. So you could exit out of this if you'd like. And also, I forgot to mention, if you swipe down, you also have a notification where you could uh, start recording as well. If you don't want to use the menu here, you could just swipe down and control AZ screen recorder from the notification here. So let's go ahead and view a test recording here. Right now I'm recording with the OnePlus built-in screen recorder and I'm gonna switch over to the AZ screen recorder and do a test recording for you guys to show you what a recording is like. Okay, so to start recording with AZ screen recorder, just go ahead and tap on the menu here and you're just gonna want to hit the red camera icon to start your recording. Okay, so here is a test with AZ screen recorder and uh, we're gonna be playing some Call of Duty Mobile, the new Call of Duty Mobile. So I'm going to be recording this in 1920 by 1080 and uh, at 60 FPS. Uh, all of my microphone is coming from the internal microphone in my phone, uh, as well as the, uh, the game audio is being picked up from the, uh, the microphone from my speakers. And to stop recording with AZ screen recorder, you can either use the magic button by double tapping on it, or you can just slide down to the notification bar and just hit the stop button uh, on the notification. So finally, once you have finished recording, this pop-up is going to come up, and here you could first of all preview clip to see if you like it. And you can hit the back button to exit out of the preview here. Uh, the X button here will just close out of the pop-up altogether. This button here will share your clip. Uh, the garbage can button will delete your clip if you don't like it. And the magic wand button here will uh, actually allow you to trim and edit your clip if you would like. And finally, if you go to your gallery here and you go to the AZ screen recorder uh, folder here, you can see all of your recordings. So when you're done, all of your recordings will end up in your camera roll. And from here, you could do whatever you want with the clip. You could edit them, upload them to YouTube, or play them back. That's pretty much it for the video. If this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.